Peace guys, it is Spooky Noodles. I've tried to record this video twice now, so this is going to be third time's a charm. Um, if you read the title, you would know what this video is about. Um, this video is a collection video. Let me close my door real quick. This is a collection video, and I haven't done one on her yet. At least if I did, I don't remember. Um, but I own a little bit of her by her, and I hope to earn more books by her. Um, there's one in my basket right now called Extremities. It's a signed edition, and as long as no one buys it, um, it's all mine. Um, it is like $13 plus shipping, um, so it's it's kind of expensive, pricey for me, but I'm about to get paid for two of my stories, and as soon as that 50 bucks drops into my uh, PayPal, I will go purchase it. But I will also be purchasing some Mark Morris books, which I'm very excited about, but they, I have to get paid very soon if I want it. So I'm very, really impatient right now with the uh, with the people who are paying me. Uh, it's taking me them forever to pay me, um, but it's okay. Uh, this is just the public. I guess this is just the publishing world. This is how pub it works. I guess it just takes a long time for people to get paid. I guess I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but that's my experience so far is it takes forever to get paid for your work um so i hope to get they said they would pay me at the end of the week it is now monday which they said that last week they said that around like uh tuesday or wednesday they said that i would be getting paid at the end of the week and now it's monday so i should be getting paid any day now so i really hope i get paid soon because those are the books that i really really want and i cannot wait to share with you but without further ado Kathy Koja is a huge inspiration to me because of so many reasons. Um, one, her writing's beautiful. It's like you're reading a poem with every single sentence. Um, or not every sentence, but every paragraph is like a poem. And the way she crafts things and makes you envision things is just amazing. Uh, there's no one other, no one like her. Um, if you wanted to be, uh, if you wanted to have similarities in any way or sense of form, I would say Clive Barker is very close to being like her or she is like her him i don't know what what come, came first um because she's been producing books since the 80s i believe um and if i'm not wrong the 90s um i could easily tell you when she started writing i just have to pull out the book really quickly let's see here she started writing because i have her first book i believe her debut book if i'm not wrong uh, 91. So I was wrong. She started writing in 91. And, uh, she's been amazing ever since. Um, but that is, um, that's news to me. She's been writing since 91, so we just learned that together. Um, she's also written books like, uh, books I don't have, like Stray Dog, Buddha Boy, uh, Under the Poppy, I think that's what it's called. Um, there's a few books by her I do not own, uh, Extremities being one of the short story collections she has that I really want. Um, but um, without further ado, let's just get into my personal collection that I own so far. And that is, let's start with Blue Mirror. This is a YA fantasy book, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's no really genre classification in this book uh, that I know of. Um, it's a very short book. Um, let's see if it has any genre specifications in here. This book came out in 2004. This is a first edition. Um, that doesn't ma really matter to me, but uh, if you were interested, this is a first edition. And it comes in, clocks in, I think, at 118 pages, if I'm not wrong. Um, let's see here. 119 pages. So I was wrong. But, um, Blue Mirror is an, uh, I haven't read it yet, but I hear good things about it from Goodreads. Um, at least I remember hearing good things about it from Goodreads. Um, it's been a while since I checked out Goodreads. Um, let's look really quickly. Blue Mirror. I got the Koja. Um, it has 3.77 star rating. Um... Let's see if it has a genre specification here. Um, I 
I don't see where the genre specifications would be, or not specifications, you know what I mean though, where's the genre? I want to know what genre this is. Um, uh, uh, someone gave this four star, or five stars, and someone gave it two stars, and someone gave it four stars, and someone gave it three stars, so the, the ratings have been all over the place with this book, but uh, the general consensus is it's good. Um, at least that's what I'm seeing here. It's not a widely uh, reviewed book. Um, it says here that it's a young adult fantasy. Some people classify it as horror. But uh, yeah, that is a uh, blue mirror. Um, I was generally curious about that stuff. But boom, blue mirror. Sorry for the glare. There's this uh, plastic overlay or whatever you want to call it over it. And it makes it shiny. But uh, that's Kathy Koja for you. Not the shiny part the, the I meant like that's a book by Kathy Koja um <laughs> let's just move on the next book I have is um a pretty cool cover um if I say so myself um this is a book I haven't read and to be honest it's not the most entertaining synopsis if you ask me um it's about two girls who hook up and they combine their two uh, art forms together to make one grotesque art form one is a dancer the other one is an artist and they combine their art forms to make something grotesque i guess i don't know but that's skin by kathy koja uh the, the cover is really cool it feels like a fingerprint um one of those police scanner type things um whatever um but uh i hear good things about it but i also uh, I've also heard bad things, as in like it was boring, because there's, I mean, you can't, no matter what, you can't, can, you, I, it's hard to convince me that Kathy Koja has a bad book, but, um, Kathy Koja, if this was, if, if you were talking about some of her, if, if the, she had a worse book, I think Skin might be it, um, but I haven't read it yet, so I wouldn't know, um, I'm just judging it by the synopsis, which is probably wrong, but, um, I hear mixed reviews on it, but I love Kathy Koja. Kathy Koja's writing is amazing, so no matter what, I'm gonna enjoy this book, even if the if synopsis sounds boring. Um, I just, I don't know, breaking the boundaries of art. Tess and Bibby are plunged deeper and deeper into the realm of obsession until the lust and pain grows beyond their control. That's the last line of the uh, synopsis, if that entertains you at all. But that's Skin. Um, I didn't want to talk poorly about anything about Kayatha Koja because she's a big inspiration to me, uh, being a Michigander. So she's from Michigan and she writes. And then her writing is just absolutely phenomenal. If you had to judge her and give her a uh, a author to compare to, uh, Clive Barker would be a good comparison. Um, and lately I've been trying to find more authors that are like uh, Clive Barker. And one day, since there is one on, vid on uh, YouTube, I'm thinking about making a video of about um, Clyde Barker-esque uh, authors, um, but for now uh, we're just talking about Kathy Koja and Kathy Koja's skin. Here, mixed reviews, but overall, um, I think it's going to be a good read. Even though the synopsis is a little boring, but that's besides the point. Um, I just, you know, I it's I don't know. This synopsis also was kind of boring to me, but it's turning out to be a fabulous book. And uh, that's Bad Brains by Kathy Koja. And I own two copies of this book. Uh, the other copy is an ARC. And if you don't know what an ARC copy is, it's an advanced reader's copy. So um, this one goes to, it has all the marketing plans on the back. Um, it has a quote from Stephen King. It's really brand new. This I got this as a gift from Tony Bacon. Um, he's a great guy. Um, and I'm afraid to actually read this book because uh, I don't want to wreck it. But uh, I think I'm thinking about sending my other copy of this book, Bad Brains. I'm thinking about sending my reading copy to my friend so we can both do like a buddy read because he'll catch up to me real quick. But, um, Kathy Coach is an amazing author, and Bad Brains is one of my favorite books of all time right now. Um, this is the art copy. 
I'll take that off the screen for now. We'll talk about this one. Um, this is the lame copy, if you ask me. Uh, there's a die cut copy, and the die cut looks absolutely amazing. It's my favorite uh, Kathy Koja cover. Um, and of course, I don't own it. <laughs> uh, and that's how it kind of goes sometimes. Your favorite cover is the one you don't own. It's one of the hardest to come across. Um, I will come. I will talk about another book that's really hard to come across in this uh, this collection. But uh, Bad Brains by Kathy Koja. It is about this man who slips at a gas station and falls and breaks his head open and has a TBI or a traumatic brain injury. Um, he goes through intensive care and they eventually fix him, sorta. Now, they, even though they say everything about him is normal now, he should be living his life as if it never happened, but he sees things. And those things are, they come in the form of a cascading silver entity. And when I say that, it's like everything that has silver or any form of like water that comes out of a spigot. A silver spigot um, will turn into the silver entity that, that spirals around him and crawls into his brain, and and it's just crazy. Um, I don't know what the monster is about right now. Um, all I know is that it exists. Um, as you can see, I'm on page 168. 168. That's my bookmark. Ah! Uh, um, that's my bookmark. 168. Um. The synopsis is longer than that, but I gave you a pretty good uh, wrap up. He's he's trying to cross the country. He went to his mom's house in Texas, but uh, on the back of the synopsis, or uh, on the back where the synopsis is, it says that he goes to what is it, uh, California to seek Emily. So um, I believe it's California. Um, he's searching for her. That's all it says. He's, he's on a cross country odyssey of debauchery and more pain searching for emily and lost love or love lost searching for a cure finding Miss dr quiet by the way i haven't i haven't even gotten to the part where that he says he's gonna search for emily i'm 168 pages in and i heard nothing about dr quiet so um i have like half the book to go and i haven't heard anything on the synopsis yet so that's crazy to me she's a great writer um She's an amazing writer, and I'm Bad Brains is becoming one of my favorite books of all time. It's a lot like Clive Barker's writing. If you like Clive Barker, you probably will like Kathy Koja as well. Um, but that's uh, Bad Brains. Next, we have a copy of Strange Angels. Now, most of my copies are in pretty good condition. Um, I have like a book of each. I have uh, in each book, I have a pretty a book in pretty good condition. Um, Strange Angels is no exception. Um, this book sounds more entertaining just than Skin, in my opinion. Uh, people say uh, that Skin is better, but uh, I just when I hear the synopsis, this synopsis uh, it just sounds more entertaining than the Skin one. But this, uh, I'll just read the synopsis for you. It's a little long, so sit in or sit tight. Um, once Grant lived in a normal life of sanity and logic, his ambitions were clear, his craft of photography, the images of what is. Then Grant saw the strange drawings of a young mental patient named Robin, and his obsession began. Possessed by Robin and ma the mad secret of his mind, Grant becomes his confidant and guardian. Grant becomes his confidant and guardian. Desperately trying to see through Robin's eyes. Desperately trying to share Robin's altered state of mind. Jealousy cutting him off from the do his doctors, his medication, his family. Now Grant's strange angel has fallen, sprawled out on the floor of their apartment. His hands swollen and bloody. The room around him shattered and torn. Now Grant must face what he has done to Robin. What Robin has done to him. And what is now to become the final gift of the mad to the sane. Strange angels. That to me sounds very interesting. Um, as you can see, the inside has a bunch of feathers. That's really cool. I think it's a pretty neat cover. Uh, you can't really see it, but there's like there's a, you can feel the wings coming off of the person. Um, I'm not sure if Robin is a he or a she. Um, 
Um. Yeah, it, it sounds like it, it, it's a he, Robin. Even though I originally thought it was a she, and it makes sense because there's a girl on the cover. But um, I guess it's it's a he. So go figure. Um, Strange Angel sounds very interesting. It's not going to be the next Kathy Koja book I read, but it's going to be up there. Um, I'll probably read it after I read the cipher, whenever I read the ci cipher. Um, I can read the first little bit for you. I'll read the first sentence. How about that? Because I've already read enough for you guys with this book, but uh, her hair on the pillow. Sorry. I say pillow when it's pillow. So I got this like this uh i if you don't know who i am <laughs> nice to meet you it's spooky noodles and i have a speech impediment so i am sorry if my speech is a little bit off um but uh yeah i've i've been trying to fix it for the longest time and there's some words that just don't come off my tongue right so excuse me for my mispronunciation of things but uh let me read the first sentence for you her hair on the pillow an empty white cup beside the bed. That's it. That's all I'm reading for you guys. That's Strange Angels. I got the Goja. And then my last book in the collection was the most hardest book to find. It is not in the greatest condition, but finding this book, period, is hard. And from my knowledge, this is like the first Del Abyss book there ever was. And that is The Cypher by Kathy Koja. Now look at that picture real quick. It's a pretty interesting cover. Um, this book reminds me a lot of Bad Brains. Just by the synopsis alone. There you go, that's the cover image. It's really cool. Um, let me read the back for you guys. Nicholas, that's me. Nicholas is a would-be poet and video store clerk with a weeping hole in his hand. Weeping, not blood, but a plasma of tears. It began with Nikoda and her crooked grin. She had to see the dark hole in a strange room down the hall. She had to make love to Nicholas beside it and stare into its secretive, promising depths. Then Nikoda began to her experiments. First, she put an insect into the hole, then a mouse. Now, from down the hall, the black hole calls out to Nicholas every day and every night, and will he? And he will go to it because it has already seared his flesh, infected his soul, and started him on a journey of obsession through its soothing blank darkness into the blinding core of terror. That's the cipher. There's my the spine for it. It's a little cracked, but it's okay. It's really good condition despite that. Um, I got this for 50 bucks. I know, a little bit too much for money for uh, a book, but uh, I, I own it and um, I'm very happy to own it because it's a really hard f book to find. Um, uh, some say it's harder to find than the, the uh, Bad Brains die cut, but uh, for me, I'm having a tougher time finding the Bad Brains die cut than I am having found this one. Um, I found this one in an auction by Tony Bacon and I won it. So, and as a reward for winning this one, he gave me Bad Brains Arc Edition. So that was really cool of him. Um, but this is a really cool cover. I'm so happy to own it. Um, especially the die cut cover because I already showed you it, but look at that creepy guy. Yeah. A hole of living black, a promise of revelation, a journey into the eye of darkness, Kathy Kocha, which by the way, Kathy Kocha is an amazing name. Um, those are the titles I own. Blue Mirror, Skin, Bad Brains, another copy of Bad Brains, Strange Angels, and The Cypher. Um, Kathy Koja is a huge inspiration to me because her writing is absolutely amazing. She's an absolutely awesome person, and she's from Michigan. And all those things, like, that's three, not strikes, but uh, three, well, let's say bowling strikes. Because bowling strikes, that's a turkey, and turkey's a good thing. So um, that's three strikes, not in baseball strikes, but bowling strikes. So that's a great thing. And uh, those three things make her an amazing author in my eyes. Um, I mean, being from Michigan doesn't make you a great author, but it gives you a plus in my book because I have read worse books from Michigan authors and 
I've given them the benefit of the doubt because they're from Michigan. So I'm not giving Kuta, Kathy Koja, any, um, any, uh, what's the word? I was, I just used it. Um, I'm not giving her any special, you know, attention because she's from Michigan. I'm get, I didn't even know Kathy Koja was from Michigan until I looked her up to see how old she was because I wanted to know, like, um, like, she was writing in the 90s, so how old was she when she was writing and how old would she be now? I did not find that out because uh, I was overshadowed with the fact that she was from Michigan, which blew my mind. Um, Kathy Coach is a huge inspiration to me right now. Um, her and Ronald Kelly are huge inspirations to me, plus Stephen King, because Stephen King's what got me into horror in the first place. So Stephen King, Ronald Kelly, and Kathy Koja are huge inspirations of mine. Um, but I wanted to highlight Kathy Koja today because Kathy Koja, like I said, is amazing. And I own quite a few books by her. Um, I hope to own Extremities soon. Um, that book is a short story collection. Uh, one of the stories in it, uh, a guy uh, crashes on, on a deserted island and he is given... Uh, the choice to either forget all his memories and learn how to fly or just stay stranded on the island with his memories. So he decides to that he wants to learn how to fly. Like fly as in like fly like like by himself, not like learn how to fly a plane or anything like that. Like he has the physical ability to fly. So um and that sounds interesting to me. Um the whole story sounds interesting to me. So I want to give the book a try, um, and the book I found on eBay is a signed edition, so yeah, you can tell that I really want to get paid as soon as I can. Um, that's my Kathy Koja collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there be, probably will be another collection video because I got a lot of a certain author, and I would like to update my collection video. So. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys had a good day, a good night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Now I am become death, the destroyer.